In the early 1990s, Williams found a way to make their cars feel like they were glued to the track. No bumps, no sudden loss of grip, just pure unstoppable speed. It was so good they dominated Formula One, but then it was banned. Why? Most race cars rely on fixed suspensions. What you set up before the race is what you get. But Williams took it a step further, building a system that adjusted itself on the fly. It used electronic sensors to detect the car's movement, then instantly modified the suspension to maintain perfect stability through every corner, bump and braking zone. For drivers like Nigel Mansell, it felt like the car was reading their mind, cornering at speeds others could only dream of. But here's the twist. This wasn't just an innovation, it was an advantage that no other team could match. And that's when trouble started. Williams had cracked the code. Their rivals, struggling to keep up, pushed for regulation changes. By 1994, the FIA stepped in, banning active suspension under the justification of keeping costs down and maintaining the essence of driver skill. But that raises the question, should it have stayed? Could modern Formula One bring it back safely? Let me know what you think.